Check it out, people. You got your Tango 2, your Mambo, your Crossfire. Been using Agent X. Well, there is a new version available. You can download it now. And this new version is going to actually replace the old Agent X. We're getting rid of Agent X. We're going forward with the new Agent uh, desktop. And this is supposed to fix the bugs that were in Agent X. So I've been looking forward to having this. I've been using Agent M and it's been working very, very well for me. So you got your Crossfire Tango 2 or uh, your TBS Mambo or Crossfire Lite 2 watt radio or Micro TX2, any Crossfire device. You want to update the software in it to get the latest and greatest. Uh, the new thing to do is go get TBS Agent Desktop. Uh, if you've already got TBS Agent X, just open it up and hit update and it will automatically replace itself with the new TBS Agent Desktop. Uh, this should look pretty familiar. This is the old uh, TBS Agent M that's now been rebranded TBS Agent Web. Uh, this is basically the same thing. Uh, I'm going to close that one just uh, in case so it doesn't... Uh, mess with anything try to try to use a usb port that we're already using or anything along those lines uh, but here we go first thing i always do before i do any updating is i break my binds um, if i uh, just go ahead and do my updates and i flash both sides of the radio most likely it's going to break the binds for me and by doing so i will have to go in and push the bind buttons and all of my quads and i don't want to push the bind buttons ever so what I will do instead is I'll turn on my radio and I'll plug in my quad. See if I can do this with one hand. It's a very green quad. If I can get it plugged in all the way. Alright, so then all I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the crossfire menu and I'm going to go to Agent Light. I'm going to go to the Nano RX and General and Factory Reset. What this is going to do is it's going to reset the receiver in the quad so that uh, this will now be ready to bind with, uh, with the controller after I finish the update. So now I've got my second quad plugged in and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go into Agent Light and I'm going to go to Nano RX and I'm going to go to General and Factory Reset and just break the bind because I hate pushing those damn buttons. And then we'll be ready for plugging into the USB for Agent. Be right back. So plug in the USB connection and we're going to want to go to USB agent and up here we can see we've already got crossfire and the USB connection is showing up as online and we want to first do Freedom TX. Freedom TX is like OpenTX or Edge TX. It's the underlying software that your radio is running on. We're going to go firmware and I'm going to go up to the very latest and update. You can see I'm already on the latest. I like to stay up to date. But we're just going to walk you through the whole process. Um, it's starting now. Tango 2 is just doing... Oh, there it goes. Linking USB device. Oh, it's linked. Please stay at the agent window while updating. Do, 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 do. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to go grab a B-Rip. I'll be right back. Fifty percent. Taking a sweet time. It's only been like 30 seconds. Be back. It is really important to be impatient. Uh, while you're doing firmware updates, you don't want to interrupt this. You don't want to go off and get sidetracked and uh, 
do something completely different. Uh, you want to just stay with it and make sure that everything's going along. Controller still nice and happy. Update still going along smoothly. Just stick with it. Restarting. Since it restarted, you want to come back down here and go back to Agent. Make sure you select that anytime it restarts. Boom. It's done. Now, anytime I do a firmware update, I always reboot the transmitter before I do anything else. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Agent. Acro mode, landing. And I got a green USB, and we just did the Freedom TX. Freedom TX is the internal radio, and then Tango 2 Xfire, that's Crossfire right there. We're going to go ahead and check to make sure we've got the latest version of Crossfire. We'll go down to Firmware, go to Current. Current is 6.19. Uh, I'm already on this, but we're going to go ahead and go through it again, just so we show you how to do it. We're just going to hit update. Okay. And we're preparing. It's starting to download. It's linking the USB device. Here we go. Time for another bong rip. Hey, this one's much faster. Restarting. Go back to the transmitter. Make sure it gets back into the agent. So restarting up here. It's going to check the subsystems. Oh, Rosie. Rosie, what are you doing? You woofing up the neighborhood? We're just doing firmware updates, dog. It's okay. Oh, Rosie. Shh. People are sleeping in the house, you know? Not everybody works all night. Oh, excuse me. Uh, updating subsystem one. Subsystem two. Rosie, calm your tits. Shh. She's such a tough dog. Go lay down. Go on, go lay down. Oh, no? You need more? I'm trying to make a video, dog. Finishing up systems two. Here we go again, three of three. Almost finished. Everything's running smoothly. Acro mode. Landing. Alright, it's good to go. Now all we gotta do is bind back up to our quads. I'm gonna reboot this one more time, just cause that's what I always do. Good evening, Dave. Everything's running smoothly. Acro mode. Landing. Go ahead and open up Agent Light. Back 
can't click the buttons with this hand. Crossfire. And let me plug in my quad. Quad's plugged in. Just gonna hit bind. Execute. And these probably won't have to do a firmware update because they've already been on it, but chances are yours is going to click here and the light's going to turn blue and it's going to tell you uh, firmware and update required. And you'll have to hit OK. And I always recommend using Agent Light on here to do your updates. Don't do the one button binding stuff. Uh, you really want the status screen to tell you what's going on. So that one's done. It's OK. So then, whoops, I can go right back into Agent Light. Crossfire. And, oh, one thing I, I should do before I run off, I run on, on digital. So I do the RSSI hack and send it out on uh, channel um, 8, which is auxiliary 4. I go to channel 8 and I send out link quality. And then I let Betaflight interpret that as RSSI so that DJI can display it on the screen. All right, next quad. All right. So that one's fired up. And we're going to go right back into here to crossfire and bind. Well, there we go. Zero percent, zero percent telemetry recovered. We're uh, gonna go back in, because I always forget to do that. Set up my LQ. Go to Nano RX. Channel map. And down to channel eight. And turn on my LQ. There we go. Now I'm in business. Alright, I'm ready to go fly tomorrow. Let's do this. And if your shit isn't uh, going through smooth as butter, say, uh, say you used the old Agent X and your shit crashed. Or you did another update and for some reason it didn't succeed and your firmware is like zero zero. Uh, what you're going to need to do, or, or say your radio won't even turn on, like you bricked your radio at this point. Turn this baby connected. off. i got to unplug my quad too, I'll be right back. So what if you bricked your radio, and this radio is not bricked, it still works. But say you tried to turn it on, nothing happens, it won't turn on. Um, what you need to do is you need to use the bootloader to fix your radio. And there are two bootloaders for this radio. One is for uh, Freedom TX, and the other over here is for Crossfire. And so it's just these two buttons on the back that are your normal momentary. I usually use this one for the buzzer. But all you have to do is hold that button down, hold it down while you plug in the USB connection here. I'm gonna hold it down. Gotta do this with one hand. Yeah, I can. Plug it in, and now I can let go of the button. And when I come over here to uh, my agent, I now see TBS bootloader. And you go over here to firmware, and you can do the same firmware updates that we just did and run right through it again. Now, I'm not going to do that right now because I've already just done the updates. But, if you needed to fix that, that's how you do it. You enter that bootloader to fix into Freedom TX. And then there's a second one. It's offline right now because I didn't boot through the bootloader. But uh, if I boot up with this left button instead, 
If I hold this button down and plug in the USB, then the Crossfire bootloader will be accessible and you'll be able to flash that even if you've crashed the firmware. The bootloader allows you to always recover even if you've crashed your shit out. Uh, so that's how you do that. If you've got questions, let me know. I've got another video that's a little more extensive on unbricking Tango 2s, but uh, I've never met one yet that couldn't be unbricked, and uh, you should be able to just walk through it and get it going again. And if you can't, uh, hit me up, ask me for help, reach out to me on Instagram, uh, or worst case scenario, put it in a box and ship it to me, and I'll just get it done for you. I've even got uh, replacement V3 boards. Uh, if you need to upgrade, like you've got the old style that doesn't have the full 1 watt, or uh, you've got the, the V1 or V2 boards, or uh, your shit's damaged and you just need repairs, hit me up. I, uh, I do reasonable rates and uh, quick time and quick turnaround. But uh, yeah, I'll fix your Tango 2s. Let me know if you need help. Uh, I've done a bunch of custom work too. But, and I'll teach you how to do that stuff, but uh, you, know, you can do lots of cool things with these if you want to customize. This is the one I wrapped, but I'm just waiting on those new uh, V2 gimbals to come in, and I'll be putting that one together too. And I've got this specimen uh, thumb grippies stick ends. These are the mini mushrooms. Really, really like the way these feel. I uh, had seen 3D printed ones before, and always just been disappointed by how slippery they were and uh, these from Thumb Grippies are amazing so I've ordered these two and I'm getting a whole bunch of them in coming in they're gonna be black can't be having them show off all the dirt that I'd be putting them through uh, gotta look good gotta feel good these things have an unbelievable amount of grip I've got three different uh, styles of thumb grips coming in I've got the specimens pinch sticks which are like a cylinder that comes all the way up in a curved top and then uh, these are the mini mushrooms and there's also a um, Grand Master pinch sticks which is like a uh, thin column with a, a small round knob at the end uh, but these things are definitely legit once you put your fingers on them you know this is the next step I've got uh, TBS crown jewels too, but really this is where it's at uh, Let me know if you need anything at all uh, TBS tango 2 related anything uh, Quad related I got you covered. I like to help people and uh, I got a whole store full of all the best goods Flyhighfpv.com. If you need anything at all just hit me up uh, Instagram is usually the best way, but I read the comments all here, too uh, let me know what you need. I'm happy to help.